Hello, hello. Hey, happy Wednesday afternoon. This is what I look like when I don't get ready. So, um, this is what I look like every Wednesday because Tuesday is terribly long. <laughs> Anyways, I meant to share yesterday um, a few little tips on how to kind of structure and help with your outlining for your research paper. And really, this is any research paper. I'm throwing it back to the essentials days. Okay, so the first thing is I know that this assignment is based on words. I don't know how many paragraphs it would equal to like a thousand words, how many, what that would look like. That's really going to be your decision. So what you need to do first is you need to decide how many topics. So if you are talking about um, Columbus, whatever, okay, Columbus, did Columbus bring over slaves? Okay, I don't know. Um, or let's see, I was trying to think of what you guys, what some of the topics you were said, or did Columbus really kill the Indians by bringing all the diseases, okay? Whatever your grant, your main topic is, think of, I would say three would probably be good. Whatever, that's, I think that's really up to you how you want to structure it, but think of what your subtopics would be. So, okay, underneath that, topic one, topic two, topic three. Okay, so if you're writing about elephants, are we going to talk about um, what the elephants look like, what are elephants used for, and maybe how they're hunted, okay? So you'll create a paragraph in this essence for each of those topics. Now, you'll want to create a fused outline because I'm assuming that you guys will use multiple sources, right? So an easy way to do that with, um, with your outline. So for instance, it, you would create, you would come up with say your source one is this. So come get seven, five to seven facts from source one about that topic. And then you'll write that down. Use a key. And next week I'll show you kind of what I talk about a keyword out outline if that totally, um, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Lacey and Addison should know what that is. So come get seven facts from that. Then once you have that, go do that with source two and source three, all right? So get facts from each. Now, you'll have, more than likely, multiple facts, uh, sim same, the same facts from multiple sources. It's probably going to happen. So then what you'll come do is you'll fuse all those outlines together. So you would have source one, source two, source three, okay? So then take take the facts that you like from source one, the facts you like from source th two and three, and narrow it down to, f to seven final facts, all right? So there's where you have. So when you do that, now this is probably a little more detailed and because we're just writing one paper and it's like multiple, but you can look at that and say, okay, this is the source one, two, three, what do I want from each source and how can I make that into a concise final outline? And then do that, repeat that for each step. If you're totally confused, I hope that I'm explaining this correctly, call me and I'll walk you through that, all right? But essentially what you're doing is you're looking at each source, pick seven facts from each source regarding that topic, then merge all of those facts, narrow it down into seven Ish. I mean, I'm just giving you kind of numbers, seven-ish um, facts or ten facts, whatever, um, in to your final paragraph, okay? Now, start with writing your body, your, par your body of your paper first. So start writing with the paragraphs on your topic, so topic one, two, three, whatever your topics are. End it with the conclusion, and then your last... Um, paragraph should be the introduction all right so I in your conclusion you're kind of wrapping up your topics kind of re-summarizing what it was you're gonna put something significant like why is this important to us 
and then end with a good closing sentence that should relate something back to the title. Then your introduction, you want to make sure that you have good an attention getter, what kind of exordium that you want. Then you're going to give us some facts. Um, talk about these are your topics. And don't say this is my topic. Like, you know, give us a good strong sentence. Um, why, why are those important? Look, there's the cat. So sorry, I meant to do this yesterday. I hope this does not totally confuse you. If you need help, please call me and I can help you walk you through it. Um, and I will go over in detail next week how to do this if you think this is going to be helpful. All right, guys, I appreciate you, and I hope that you're having a wonderful Wednesday. Have fun this week. Do your schoolwork. Um, I know that it's crazy doing school and balancing a job because most of you do that or other responsibilities, so just let me know. All right, girls, um, or and guys, sorry, Jackson, if you need anything, don't hesitate to call me. Bye.